y'all welcome back to be nurse for life i'm bernice your host welcome back to my channel yes so right now we're doing a what i bought in orlando on my family trip <laughs> it's like a little shopping haul yeah the little shopping haul <laughs> um but before i forget don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and we're using natural light today coming through from my bedroom window <laughs> but yes so Basically, we had a great time in Orlando. It was hot, so hot. <sighs> but we were able to go to the outlet mall, the premium, it's the, I think it's called the Orlando Premium Outlet Mall. And it's off Vinland Drive or Vinland Road in Orlando. I love that mall because my one of my favorite stores is in there. Oh my goodness, you know what? I forgot to pick up the thing I got from that one store. But the store with the... One thing I can't remember where that is right now. It's called the Cosmetic Factory Store, where you buy affordable cosmetics like Too Faced, Clinique. You can get affordable perfumes too, like Tom Ford. Um, let me see. Somebody's calling me. Yeah, we're not answering that right now. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness, hang up. <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so I did buy, wanted to try the Too Faced foundation. They're not double wear, longer wear, 24 hour wear. I wanted to try their foundation. So what I did was go ahead and get it there. And I think I paid $23 for it. And I think the normal price for that Too Faced foundation is $46. So I paid $23 for it. Yes. But yes, I put that up already. Um, let's see. We're going to start with what I got at Charlotte Roos. Do you remember Charlotte Roos? Oh my God, I love that store. When it had tons and tons of jewelry. Oh, love me. I love jewelry. Cosmetic jewelry, real jewelry. I don't care. I love jewelry. Um, for some reason, I didn't know they still had Charlotte Roos stores. I love their clothes too. Um, I didn't know they still had the stores because the last time I went to Charlotte Roos was in Georgia. And I think my son was probably one. Oh, wait, no, before he was born and then when he was one, yes. I went to Charlotte Roos in Georgia. Love that store. Anyways, um, and in Florida two years ago when I lived in Florida. Um, but this store I went to at the outlet mall, they had a deal going buy one get one for a um, dollar. I didn't even read that sign. <laughs> so basically why I said that is because I saw, oh, another thing is I love Playboy, their print. I love the Playboy prints. Um, I'm not a playboy, whatever, but I love their clothes and stuff. Um, so I saw this bathing suit cover up and it was like, ten, what is it, 10 bucks for this? This light pink bathing suit cover up. And it has a little drawstring right here. Where is it? Right there. Oh, sorry about that. All right. And. We might have to put you over a little bit. There we go. Yes. So I got that. But when I get to the register, the cashier, she was like, oh, you can pick up something else for a dollar. But just remember the highest paying one will go through first. I was like, yeah, not a problem. Because the reason why I said that, I didn't see this first. I saw the bathing suit first. And I got it in this hot pink. And I tried it on. It's pretty cute. I took out the pattern. It's like a one shoulder. The side is cut out on the side and it's a, a one piece swimsuit and it's so cute. So I got that with the cover up. So the bathing suit is 15 and I got the cover up for a dollar. So I was like, that is a good deal. All right. And while I was in there, I also got some headbands. I keep every time I'm looking for a black headband, I can never find one. So I was like, let me go ahead and grab a black headband because they had some. And I think this two pack was $4.99. Yeah, $4.99. And then when I get to the register, I got these, the black and green one. They had two blacks and then they had the black and green one. When I get to the register, she said, you can get another one for a dollar. It's like, uh, absolutely. So I got another two pack of just the black ones, which I already pulled apart and started using. Then I saw this cute off the shoulder type um, pullover sweater top and I like how wide it is so I can just wear it like that and it says Playboy it's nice heather gray yes 
This is good like traveling top or when I'm around, lounging around the house. And I think that one was 12 bucks. Then I also got this other jacket by Charlotte Russe for $5.99. It was on it was on their clearance rack for $5.99 originally. $12.50. So it's $5.99 right here. And there it is. Charlotte Russe is crazy. So I don't really own a white. Well, do I? I do have a white sweater, zip front. With Winnie the Pooh on it from Walmart, I do. But I don't have, I have like a short crop one. I need a short crop one. And this one says Paris on the front. Paris, France 2024. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize it said that part. And this is the part I miss completely. <laughs> And it had it bigger in the back. I was like, how stinky cute is that? All right, hold on. The light is moving. So let me turn on the light. Be right back. All right. Okay, hopefully that helps. But yes, so this is the back. This is Paris Friends 2024. And I was like, that is so cute. And this white jacket. All right, and that was from Charlotte Russe. Very exciting. All right, the next thing I want to show is I only bought one thing at Universal because I don't like buying things at Universal Studios because it's so freaking expensive. But if you go to the Walmarts in Orlando, it's pretty cheap, right? And I'm going to show you in a second. So when I went to the Universal, I'm a big Betty Boo fan. Um, I don't know, for years. <laughs> I own a couple of things with Betty Boo on it. Um, but yes, I saw this nightgown at Universal, and I thought it was super cute with the the black and red. This is the front. It's a nightgown dress, and this is the back. And it just says Betty Boo 30. Yeah, Betty Boo 30. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I think I paid like $37. No, 30, $32 for this. Excuse me, and I got this at Universal Studios. <laughs> But, like I was saying, if you go to the Walmart now, the Walmart in Orlando, if you want to get anything, Mickey Mouse, whatever, Spider-Man, Harry Potter, go to the Walmart there. Because my daughter bought the Harry Potter robe at um, Universal Studios for $138. And I was like, that's, that's a lot. But that's her money because she works for it. That's her money. But anyways, I digress. You can get stuff like that still so, at Walmart for less <laughs> I got this other Betty Boo crop top and I up I went up a size in extra large it does say Betty Boo inside and I got this at the Walmart in Orlando and I paid $9.99 for this a little crop top and then I love Care Bears so I got a pink Care Bear shirt also from the Walmart also $9.99 and it's crop also. I wore this one twice and washed it twice already <laughs> since I bought it. And it says Dare to Care. So yes. I got those two shirts. And that was Walmart. The next store we're gonna do is let's do let's do Victoria's Secret. Yes, let's do that one. So at Victoria's Secret grab the stuff I picked up this Victoria's Secret poolside service or gardenia, gardenia and terry cloth this fragrance lotion is smells divine I love it yes this is the Victoria's Secret poolside it's called poolside service it smells so good so good and I think how much did the, the lotions were $3.99 yes the lotions were $3.99 and so were the body mists this is a Victoria's Secret outlet the lotions were $3.99 the body mists were $3.99 let me keep this over here actually okay and then I also picked up this Coco Chill it says cannabis sativa seed oil calming body oil and it's by pink i got this for $1.99 at their outlet victoria's secret outlet i bought two i already got one open 
And you see, it is very calming. I do like this body oil. It smells really good too. Cocoa Chill. And then that's the name on it. Mm -hmm. like it love it <laughs> so I do have one open already I'm using I also picked up these and I think these are sports bra yeah didn't even realize it. I just saw them and like them because their regular bras don't always I'm not a big fan of Victoria's Secret bras for years um but these were cute I tried them on they're really good this is pink active well this is pink too um Victoria's Secret slash pink so this is their low impact pink active ultimate sports bra i have mine in double xl because i'm a double d no triple d 30 triple d oh uh, well 30 triple d 40 double d's on some days so we're both so this cute little butterfly low impact sports bra so cute i've tried it on it's very comfortable i wouldn't say it it's low impact i wouldn't say it's like where to work kind of situation i wouldn't do that like to run errands, wear around the house, stuff like that. Um, I also got this pink one, which I'm very excited about. Also got it in a double XL. It's also low impact, but I should have gotten this one in just an XL because the bottom part of this bra is more stretchy. I didn't realize that. But yes, this is just the hot pink one. Also low impact. I also got this. Oh, I should have hooked this one for you. Oh my guys. Let me hook this one out. Is this an active? No, this is just a bra. Or a bralette, I should say. So those bralette, those sports bras were $9.99 each at um Victoria's Secret and a Victoria's Secret outlet. And I think they're originally $40. Because this one is 35 This bralette is like velvet base. It is so cute. And it, this one does have the hook and eye in the back like a regular bra. But this one is so cute. I've tried this one on. Love it too. And you can make it tighter or looser because it does have regular hook like a bra. That one's super cute. Then I did find one bra I did like. <laughs> My daughter pointed out to me. I do love, I prefer the bras that hook in the back, but if I can find a good bra that hooks in the front that is supportive, I will get it. So they had this blue one, which is super cute. Hold on. It's a blue lace. Oh, is that little flowers? Oh, it is little flowers. And it has the hook in the front. And the, all of these, well, no, all of those br sports bra and that bra that was $9.99 each. I think this one was $14.99 or $19.99, this bra. But I did not realize the back was doubled. But I do like that little lace flower detail in the back. Alright, and then I also got this corset like corset like top from um pink section in the Victoria's Secret outlet and it's um what do you call this pinstripe not pinstripe what do you call it? ribbed right. this is the back and this is the front and this is also $9.99 and it's like she thick all right and that was from Victoria's Secret all right we're going to go ahead and run through with, um, what is this, Bath and Body Works. Yes. I don't know why I go to that store with my sister or my mom. This time it was with my sister. If it's if any time it's with my sister or my mom, my grandmother, I'll be buying more than I need. But anyways, it is what it is. I ain't even mad. <laughs> um, but the cashier there, Michelle, um, no, was it a cashier? One of the, the salesperson on the floor, yes, Michelle. Love her. She's so sweet. Um, but she also talked me into some other stuff. And the other lady, oh, God, I wish I remember her name. She was so, so sweet at that mall. Um, but shout out to Michelle if she ever comes across this. Because she also works for the Levi in that 
premium outlet mall so check out Bob's store bath and body works and that levi outlet also so the bath and body works outlet what i got let me start with these first so where is it <clears throat> So I saw, you know what I love about Bath and Body Works now too. I never, I didn't know that they were doing this. I know they make their lotions and body washes with shea butter, but I didn't know they were adding hyaluronic acid. Also, I hope you can see it. At the bottom, right there. I don't know they were adding that too, which is awesome. That gives you more moisture. Um, so I got this Lumi Luminous. By Bath and Body Works, and their body wash has pro vitamin B5 and aloe. So I got the body wash, the body lotion, body cream, body cream, not lotions. I like their cream better. Body cream, and also the perfume. Let's get into that. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, these were $4.99 each, and I think this is originally $18.95, and this is $16.95. $4.99 each. I digress. Smells so good. It smells so good. Because it has, what does that one have? Excuse me. Vitamin E, aloe, shea butter, cocoa butter, acrylic acid. Yeah, here's the fragrance Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. It smells so good. So I got those two. Then. I saw the perfumes and I was like, okay, everything is 75% off right here. What is the price of these perfumes? Because their original price, and I know for a fact because I've seen this perfume, and I said, if I ever see it in the store, I want to smell it. Um, Bath and Body Works perfumes are usually 60 bucks. I paid $14.95, $14 so $15 for this perfume. And I was like, if I'm going to buy one, I'm going to get two. <laughs> about two I don't know why but it smells so good and I love I love it this will make a great gift too so if you're in the area pick some up this one the perfume is called luminous by Bath and Body Works this is the Edouard du Parfum and it's 3.4 ounces this is it if you can get it during a sale get it if you're in Orlando or one of their premium outlets get this oh let me show you. When the box opens, how, look at this display. Look, what? Come on, come on. And it smells so good. This is the bottle. Did I even write anything on it? Oh, it's not the bottom. But this is the bottle. So pretty. It looks like a little ruby. It really looks like a little ruby. Oh, I didn't put on any perfume today. I just noticed only body spray. Oh, it smells so good. <sighs> I'm glad I bought two because I, I feel like I'm about to murder this bottle. <laughs> All right, moving on. Also, I picked up this. Okay, so where is it? I was walking past the soap section and I was looking at the hand soap because we needed some more hand soap here anyway. So I was going to wait to order some more or just buy some more at Walmart, whatever. Anyways, I saw this empty bottle and it said coffee and whiskey. And I was like, let me just smell it. Get it. Get the damn coffee and whiskey. It smells so good. It smells like a dessert. It's, everybody's going to smell different too. To me, it smells like a dessert. It doesn't smell like full of coffee and whiskey. It just smells so it, it smells masculine. It smell. It just smells so good. It smells really good. Some of it pulled out while I, I travel with it. But this is it. Hope it focus come on focus I'm going to empty my hand there you go coffee and whiskey so I got the hand soap because that's the first thing I saw and then I was like I wish they had this in a body wash she said I got you by the way I bought two of these these were $4.99 she's like I got you I got the whole line I got the coffee and whiskey body cream got the body cream yeah I prefer their body cream over their lotions and I got the body wash I was like hook a girl up <laughs> these are all for I think wait hold on 
the hand soaps were $4.99. These were on fully sale sale, but I think I paid only, I think, $8.99 for each. Yes, $8.99 for each of these. Yes, the coffee and whiskey. But yes, definitely get that one. I love how that smells. And then the last thing I got from Bath & Body Works was this pineapple mango hand soap. If you're an eyeliner, you know how a pineapple mango should come through and hit you in the face. This is what this does. Can't wait to open this. <laughs> I put it in. I think I'll definitely make sure one is downstairs. <laughs> In the downstairs bathroom. I'm, I'm trying to get that coffee whiskey one in our bathroom. So I'm about to switch it up once the soap downstairs finished. But I'm trying to hold off on this one because it smells so good. This is the pineapple mango one. Let me show you. When she had us smell it, my sister bought, I think she bought like four. And these were, I think, $4.99 also. Or $3.99. I think they were $3.99. This is the pineapple mango. I think my sister bought four. I bought two because... We had to bring it back and I ain't trying to put too much weights in the, the bags. I bought two. So yes, I'm excited. Can't wait to use these. It smells so good. I'm telling you, when I said a pan of a mango just hit you in the face, it hit you in the face. That's how good it smells. Alright, so that is Bath and Body Works. That's done. Also went to the Ross. So this is the first time I've ever been to a Ross. That gave me so much <laughs> and so much more. <laughs> but I'm going to show you why I say that. Alright. So let's start out. I am a big eye patch wearer. I usually get the Creme Shop eye patch with, with um, what do you call it? Collab with Hello Kitty, but I haven't been able to find any more at my Ross here or my Marshalls. So I said if I'm out and about and finding at any Ross or Marshalls or whatever, I'm buying a good amount. Tell me why I found this one, this Mickey one, Creme Shop eye patch. I like their eye patch because it sits on your face. You can put your head down and everything. Some of those be trying to rule or anything. I don't like those. Yes, I found this Creme Shop one. They're $4.99. Online, they're usually $11 or $12. 12 because it's the same. $4.99. So I bought three. I bought three. And then when I went back to the rest again before real life, I bought the last one. <laughs> so I'm stocked up. Because it's a six, you get six fiber patches, which is three pairs. I love these. And this one is for brightening with vitamin C, which night shift nurse definitely need. Then, the next thing I picked up was, I'm not a big lash wearer, but I was like, I think I could do this. I do have the other lashes that I put under. I do like, those I do like. Um, but usually I'm wearing mascara. <laughs> um, so I saw this Pro Magnetic um, El Elore London and this one was $2.99 originally six bucks so I picked that one up to try it and I'm definitely gonna cut it because these are too long but yes they're magnetic with that magnetic thing there to help you it's supposed to give you like that fullness so definitely gonna try that for $2.99 trying that then I got this cute headband I love me a good headband y'all know from my Timu hauls <laughs> I love me a good headband so I saw this cute one day it was on clearance for $2.99 so I already took it out work probably once and it's together so you can either wear it with the pearl side showing wait or oh wait yes well no I think I have the pink side showing or you can wear it with the pearl side showing more okay so that was $2.99 and then I saw I needed my wallet. I needed a purse, uh, pink light pink purse. I did forget that I picked up one <laughs> at Target, but it was even a lighter pink. But I wanted another light hot pink whatever <laughs> purse to go with my Steve Madden wallet. So I saw this purse by Aldo's, and I thought it was super. cute. Cute. It's an Aldo purse. It has double zips, one here and one here. And I like this vibe. It's given almost on um, YSL. But it has a little, it came with a little tassel, the chain part of belt um, and strap. And I do like that the strap up here. You, oh, sorry guys. You can adjust it there. I love that. 
to have it adjusted to where I want it. And I'll reward in Orlando too. So yes, cute. And then I also found this beautiful scarf by Anne Klein. The first time I went to the Ross, I left it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was like, no, we got to go back and get it. And that's how I ended up getting the last box of the eye patches. But anyways, I saw this pink and black and beige scarf by Anne Klein. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's that baby pink here. And it's like black and white flowers or roses. And it's by Anne Klein. I think it was $9.99. Oh, absolutely just stunning. I love it. I had it wearing on my strap of my purse, but it's just stunning. Love it. And then I picked up a half bra. I have a beige one and I needed a black one and I was happy I found a black one. How much was this one? This one was $8.99 at Ross and this is by Nautica. I got it in a 40 double D and it's usually $36 with Nautica. So I got it for $8.99 with a half bra. And it does come with its own little straps. But yes, that's what I got. Then I saw this top and I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. It's from the brand called On 12th. 12th. Never heard of, but. I saw it and it it had that what's that that padded shoulder look but look at the shoulders and that's not and it's a cute shirt look at that yes and some back and front not just the front back and front so I'm gonna have to take care how I wash it and it has little pearls and rhinestones look at that that's so cute you can wear it with some jeans, some nice. I have black and white striped pants. This will be nice with too. So yes, I picked that up, and I think this was nine ninety nine. Yeah, nine ninety nine. I also saw this bathing suit that I thought was very sexy. It was giving me the idea I thought of Sofia Vergara. I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's what we're trying to be right now. <laughs> um. And it was on clearance too. It was on clearance for $11.99. It started out at $25. And it's from the brand Blue, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here it is. It's by the brand Blue Rod Betty. Expect something beautiful. Girl, original price is $129. From their company. $129. But I paid... $11.99 on clearance and this is the beauty it is gorgeous it's like a multi-color almost giving leopard print kind of vibes I tried it on sexy very sexy I got it in a size 10 or is it 12 10 10 I'm usually a 12 or 14 in bathing suits but this baby fit <laughs> I tried it on she fit and she is is sexy and I do love this little part that they have on the strap little detail so cute mm -hmm. then I also picked up this clear backpack because I always say I need a clear backpack especially when I go to events that needs clear backpacks um it's a stadium approved under on the under oh under Oneski. that's the brand but look at the straps they're cushiony with the little pink butterflies clear bag i think this was how much was this bag i think this was 16. Hmm. yeah 16.99 16 on 16, that all the purse i showed you was 27 dollars 16.99 how cute a clear bag and then I also picked up this because when you see it you'll know who it's inspired by and I was like wait a minute and it says Miami gotta get it so I got this big old bag 
gorgeous gorgeous look at that oh this it's almost giving like a denim vibe it's so pretty and this is Miami yes inspired by Christian Dior very gorgeous get so much of paper $20.99 yes you heard me right $20.99 girl you know quick I put that pick this bag up I already wore this bag out already yes super cute all right, and the last few things I picked up at um, Ross. I picked up this Creme Bio Botanical Toner. It has rose, witch hazel, and cornflower, made in Korea. I do love, um, what do you call this? Any toner with witch hazel in it and rose. Common stuff. So I picked this up. So far, I've used it twice. I'm liking it so far. Yes, the creme shop. Sorry about that, guys. Creme shop. And it's the Bio Botanical Toner. See? Yes. And then I also needed a thermal heating spray. I had it in my cart for Amazon to buy before I went on a trip. I totally forgot about it. So I didn't even have a heating spray. So I didn't even bother to put too much heat on my hair at all. So I got this one by Chi. It was $5.99 or Chai. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, style and stay. It is thermal protecting spray, firm and whole. So I paid $5.99. So I will have this on my next trip that's coming up. So that's cool. But now I think about it, I, might, I won't even need it because I'm at Brits that time. Anyways, for whenever my next other trip is. <laughs> um, I also picked this up. My sister bought one too. It's the Beauty Bar FX Rose Micellar Water Cleanser, Moisturizing and Deep Cleansing for All Skin Types. And it comes with its own little brush here that's covered. Little, is it pink? Clear brush that's covered. It's own little cover right here. And then this is it. So we both have one to try it out. And it was $3.99. Excited to try this out. Love anything with my cello water in it. And oh, before I forget, jewelry. Oh my god, I almost forgot about the jewelry. Give me one second. So, this store I never heard of, and then out of the blue, when I come back with it, I was watching, I forgot which YouTuber I was watching. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna go. Oh, oh my god, I just watched her, her face and everything just came to my brain. But, anyways. <laughs> She went to that store to pick up some jewelry, and I was like, I've never heard of that store until I went to Orlando. So it's called La Visa, La Visa, and it's very, very affordable, and they give you this cute little bag. So this is them, La Visa, L-O-V-I-S-A. And I think it was, certain sections was by five for 12, six for 18, no, three for 18, some things were 60% off, some things were on clearance. So I did the uh, two five for 12s, and then I bought one bracelet by itself, which was $5 by itself or whatever. So I got these earrings. Ooh, hold on. Got these earrings that are super cute. The geometrical. Look like a little flower from here. I wore them yesterday to my son's dentist appointment. Super cute, very light. Then, oh. This was the bracelet I got. It it looks like a Cuban chain, but it's like, I don't know. It's more like chunky. I don't know, I just love it. It's giving Cuban chain, but different kind of vibe. It's so gorgeous. Yes, so. And I wore that one already. <laughs> Alright, and then the rest is in here. Some my daughter was for my daughter, so I think she took hers out already. And then I got these beautiful yellow ones. I, don't, I have a clear flower one like this. Clear flower shimmery like this one. So I got the yellow version. Um, I got these beautiful roses, multicolor roses, so pretty. So, so pretty. 
I got this pink and pearl earring. I love me some pink earrings, but this pink and pearl one was just gorgeous. So I had to get it. I don't know. I've been into a lot of chunky hoops. I've been grabbing for them real quick. So I saw this effervescent, Iridesc iridescent. I don't know how you say it right now. <laughs> but I saw this purple one and I thought it was, or lavender, and I thought it was super cute. And it's not too big. Then I got this. I think it's seashells. Yes, pink, pink and gold seashells. That is, that's the back of the earrings. This is the front. Oh, the seashells. Very pretty. And then the last two. Get these before they fall. The last two I got, I'm still not sure what this is, but this would go cute with that black top I showed you. It looks like a heart and then stuff coming out of it. Yeah. And then this one was giving me like, what was it? Like Caesar time? Caesar time. Oh, like. Egyptian, maybe I don't know. That's the kind of vibe it's giving me. I just thought it was stunning, and I just love it. It's like a crush goal. I just love that. Yes. But yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching <laughs> my little shopping haul that I did while I was in Orlando with the family. I also got some stuff for my son, but there was mostly probably three toys and a bunch of t -sh a bunch of shirts with Minecraft, Spider-Man, and one shirt that says Sup Bro, <laughs> which he wore, he wore today and I could stop laughing. But anyways, that's everything we bought, well I bought while I was in um, Orlando. Um, while I was there, though, I did order some more stuff um, from because I I was worried about bag weight coming back, traveling back over the plane. So I did order some perfumes from Victoria's Secret. Well, not perfume, some body spray from Victoria's Secret. And I bought a purse from Coach that I was loving on. I wanted this one purse from Marc Jacobs while I was in the or the outlet mall but then it started raining and I didn't attempt to go back in the store and get it because I wanted to sit on it before I bought it but it is what it is anyways sorry about the rambling don't forget to like subscribe share a comment and definitely come check my channel out again all right and comment down below what did you like that I picked up I know everything I got this get is not for everybody but just comment what you liked okay all right I hope you have a great night or day whenever you're watching this and have a bless rest of the week. Bye bye. One, two, one, two, need my attitude. Three, four, three, four, check my latitude.